So now that you have monetized your YouTube channel, what the, what the f does that actually mean? Explain that. It means that I'm probably going to earn about 10 cents next month from my YouTube. So what you're saying is you're balling. <laughs> you're, you're officially balling now. So in order to qualify to earn that 10 cents, what have you had to do? Post videos on YouTube to reach a thousand subscribers of 4,000 public watch hours. How many subscribers do you have? 1,056. How many of those are your mom? No. <laughs> <laughs> How many watch hours do you have? 4,019. Yeah. In a 365 day um, period. That's a huge deal, man. How long have you been, how long has this been a goal? How long have you been trying to accomplish this? Since I started my YouTube at the start of 2020. And you've been talking about this shit since you got to America a year and a half ago. Yes. And here we are. My oh, man, congratulations, brother. How does it feel? Feels good. Feels good. It feels exciting. So I can officially apply now. And uh, yeah, hopefully within the next week or two, I'll be uh, starting to earn in, uh, some money. So. That's what I'm talking about. When you go apply, apparently these lights are going to keep blinking. They're, they're sketchy. Yeah, I hope you don't, hope you don't get rejected. I hope, I hope you're accepted. Because <laughs> <you're... laughs> that would suck. That would suck. That would suck. And then, Sorry. That so video remember that video we shot? Let's just, let's just, yeah. that. let's just, well done, bro. Congrats, man. Thanks. three years I've monetized my channel and this was a feat that I thought was once impossible. I launched my channel in 2020 documenting my house renovations and my journey into the online business world. I sporadically posted vlogs, notably the cabin build, but faced year-long gaps due to my perfectionism and on-camera apprehension. especially judgment, thoughts and opinions of other people, have often held me back, leaving me feeling paralysed. Even monetization of my channel didn't allay these fears, hindering me from sharing my passion, unable to create or post anything. Even as a photographer, I've known for a long time that videos is what I'm most excited to create. However, despite my fears, I still wasn't in the right place to create and put myself out there. So instead, I just documented my journey silently. During the last 18 months, I've had so much to process, which left me feeling basically going into what is termed these days, monk mode. It felt like the right decision and it was the start of my solitude. I don't believe, as humans, we're designed for such complex lives. We aren't meant to absorb so much information and be busy all of the time, or we'll know everything that is happening in the world. It leaves so many of us comparing our lives to others and takes away the joy of the everyday simple things that most of us today take for granted. Those who are able to simplify their lives in a world that demands so much of us are very lucky. And this was one of the reasons for me going into monk mode and then heading off to the other side of the world to dig a little deeper and to find out if I could overcome these fears and actually start 
to live my life intentionally and do what I'm passionate about. It can be sad at times traveling the world alone, the low moments especially, but the high ones too, because even though the moment is beautiful on its own, it would be so much better to share it with someone. I know that day will eventually come, but for now, these long stretches of solitude I've had, especially over the past year, have taught me so much about myself. They've created the time and space for me to confront so many of my own self-limiting beliefs and unhealthy and unhelpful patterns, whilst also teaching me to just be at home with myself during both the good and the bad times. You see, solitude has a way of inviting in emotions to the surface, and I've been learning to embrace those sit with them and then let them go one by one. Gratitude is something I've practiced also for such a long time now on a daily basis. Perspective, however, gets overlooked. And traveling out here to Arizona gave me a huge amount of perspective. You see, for the past few years, one of the biggest reasons I've not put effort in with my YouTube channel is not only my lack of confidence surrounding fear and what other people will think of me and being judged, but also because I've just been chasing money. Focusing on my retainers and my client work, which if I'm honest with myself, in all the time I've had my online business, I've never actually been truly happy. Having spent a lot of time out here, I've had a few real pinch myself moments and it really got me thinking back to my why and why I wanted to start this YouTube channel in the first place and why I wanted to travel. Phoenix really helped me reconnect with my core purpose, my why. And it's time now for me to overcome those fears and start again, guided by my original vision and what started this journey in the first place. Perhaps you're feeling a little stuck too and you hear what I'm saying but it just doesn't compute. Look, I get it. It might be hard to see a way out right now but believe me, it is achievable. Always hold on to your dreams and ignore the doubters. Believe in your capabilities. But above all though, throughout your journey, never forget why you started. <laughs>